Hi guys, this is Lila. Welcome to my channel Lila Webdow. In this video, I will try to explain you about the provide HTTP client function. So that is available in the app.config.ts file. So this is function and it is in Angular 18, it is used to co uh, configure and provide with the HTTP client service across an Angular application. By default, if you try to observe, Angular's HTTP client uses the XML HTTP request API to make the HTTP request. So this one about this XML HTTP request, you, uh, I have, I have uh, explained you about this one in our Ajax calls and all those things. So if you want to learn more about this XML HTTP request, so you can go through my uh, DOM, DOM thing, uh, Ajax sorry, not DOM thing, Ajax thing and you can have a full uh, understanding about this one. So by default, what I was trying to tell you is the Angular uses the XML HTTP request by default. So when, when you implement this provide means so it uses the angular's http client uses the xml http request api to make http request angular however angular does offers an optional feature for uh, configuration with fetch also so that means so you know that uh, the latest in es6 so you have they have introduced a new api that is nothing but fetch api so you can also make the api calls using the fetch api also so uh, angular also uses this feature so if you want to integrate the HTML, uh, integrate HTML client with the fetch features means then so you can have an optional feature configuration with fetch that allows switching HTTP client to use the fetch API instead. So let's explore this feature in detail uh, along with the step by step example. So let's try to understand it. So normally uh, what are the key concepts we need to understand. So about the HTTP client. So let's try to understand about the key features about this HTTP client. So what I want to explain you is. So the first one is the key concepts is HTTP client is an angular service for making the HTTP request such as get post and put and delete request etc. So you know about this one. To enable HTTP client in an angular application you need to use the provide HTTP client function in the app configuration. So this also you know. Provide HTTP client accepts an optional configuration function example with which to modify or extend the client's behavior. So this one will accept an external configuration function that is nothing but with which to provide the, to extend the client feature. So what will happen if you use this with fetch function which will function in the angular let's try to see it. So by default HTTP client relies on the HTML HTTP request API. So this one also you know the with fetch feature changes the underlying HTTP request method to use the modern fetch API instead. So it will use the modern fetch API. The fetch API is widely supported in the modern browsers and environments and it has some benefits like better alignment with JavaScript promised based syntax. So that is the main thing. However, fetch does not support some XHR features like upload progress events in this one. So we'll try to discuss about this uploading me also, but we are able, we are unable to get the support this feature such as upload progress event when you are trying to use the fetch API. So that is the thing. So let's try to understand about this fetch API. So in a standalone component. So normally if you want to enable this fetch API means what you need to do it is so here, here in this one. So here you need to provide with fetch. So with fetch so this is the method which you need to call it so now whenever you use this with fetch now the api call will be made using the fetch api request so fine so how it will make the fetch api request let's go to the app.component.ts file or somewhere so i will try to explain you so here let's go let's, let's make it simple so in our app.component.ts file so let's inject the http client so private http http is equal to inject of HTTP client HTTP client so we have injected this HTTP client and now what I want to do it is so I want to fetch the data so okay let's try to fetch the data so I will use the simple thing only so I don't want to go deeper into this one so what can I do so here we can call this so simple thing I will try to do it so we can call this dot HTTP dot JSON placeholder to do slash one and I am trying to get this one so here I will use data any so this is the thing and here this is http.get so to do slash one and subscribing response and I am when when we are subscribing the response we are storing it in the days dot data so now how can I show this one so let's go to the app.component.html so here at the bot uh, here at the top I will try to show you the or otherwise let's try to remove this one so here I will be having h1 fetch api with http client so we are trying to do it like this right so now I will have a button okay so fetch data sorry uh, fetch data <coughs> I will use this fetch data upon clicking on this button so what I will do 
fetch data so i will call this fetch data method and now when this fetch data method is called so here i can use the div ng if syntax ng if and here you will be having the data is there means then you can show this pre sorry pre data json that's it so i will try to show you the json data that's it so this is the simple thing which i want to tell you so here we need to include the uh, let's include the common module here hopefully everything will be working fine so fine now let's try to see the output for this one so we are able to get a button if i click on this button so we are able to get this api so this is how we will be implementing so in underlyingly it will be implementing with the fetch api so now but but when we click on the button the fetch data method is triggered and we use angular dependency injection to access the http client so here we use the angular http detection and http.get is called to make a get request to a simple api endpoint with fetch enabled this request uses the fetch api so now <coughs> so now benefits of using this with fetch is the fetch api is modern and aligns with the promise based syntax available in more environments including some where xml xtp request is not supported limitations of fetch is does not support the upload progress event some feature specific html xml http request such as cancellation via about in the request might not might need extra handling so using with fetch is an excellent choice if your application can work within the limitation of the fetch api it is especially useful in environments where fetch is the only option providing seamless integration with angular http client so that is the main thing uh, about this one so what so what i have tried to explain you so this is the thing so we can also make the http request with the using the HTML instead of using with the XML HTTP request, we can also make it within fetch API also. But we need to provide this option with fetch API. So that's it, guys, about this fetch API thing. So if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.